Let's say your friend has a dog, as one of our friends seems to have here, and you want to find all about it and the breed, you can blipper it. And we've got blipper CEO and co-founder, Amberish Mitra. He's come back to join us again. We obviously didn't scare you away. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So this is a way to not need to know as much information. You don't have to type in and say, that's the breed of dog and I want to find out about it. You don't even need to know that. I mean, even if you need to know that, how would you describe it? So what it's doing is taking the description out of the equation and connecting you to the subject you're looking at and give you relevant information on top. And it's sort of aiding your curiosity, right? I mean, all of us are curious creatures and everything around us is happening. And today, young people are, I call them the generation curious. Uh, they are sort of, they don't have time in their hands and they see exciting things all the time. And what if you could just blip everything and get to know more? And you have uh, your lunch here um, on the table. Yes. Yeah. Um, you've got, um, and I know what it is. You see, I don't need the blipper thing. One's an apple, yeah. and you've got three bananas over yeah. there. Why do I need to blipper an apple or the bananas? I mean, uh, it's quite obvious. I don't really know what they are. Yeah, but what if you want to know where you can buy them, uh, recipes associated with them, the nutrition value associated with them, are there any coupons uh, right now in the market giving you a deal? There are so, every object or every identity in the world has its own portal of information. And our version of it, we're calling it the light web. You know, because uh, if every object could be connected to seven, eight relevant pieces of information, people would find browsing the world much easy. And and, and, that, and that's within the Blipper app. You can download the app, you get it there, and then just any any object. I could I could I could I do it for this? Not from day one. No. It's almost like uh, how companies like Google build the whole web. You know, in the early days, the entire internet wasn't on Google, and slowly, slowly, they build up, they categorize, they synchronize things smarter. We will do that for the world, and we have a strategy how we'll go about it, but almost what Google did for the web, Blipper wants to do for the world. And, and this will be with pictures. Isn't this in some way dumbing down what people know? I mean, if I, if I wanted to, you know, about apples, I might, you know, bring my mother or something if I didn't know or, or bananas or pick up I mean, a book or something. I, I, it might sound very old-fashioned, yeah. doesn't it? Read a book. Yeah. I think already the couple of things you're saying has become outdated, like calling your mother and reading a book. Wow. So, so we, are inter we are entering a phase where people are always time, they don't have time and they want to know something instantly. And today the challenge is that you cannot describe everything accurately. And all the traditional methods, and I know I'm calling a search engine traditional here, it's it's completely dependent on words and we're taking that out of the equation. In fact, it transcends boundaries of literacy and language. You know, what if you don't even know how to read and write? And you have smartphones. There are people who don't know how to read and write have smartphones today. You Instead of asking the wise man in the village, you just point your phone at something. So that, that actually helps folks who, who can't read and write. Yeah. And that, that's actually very useful. And a lot of people do find it very hard to learn yeah. to read and write. What, so is this app available now? Will we be able to It'll come out, out in mid-April. It's yeah. a new direction for the business. I mean, we've been an augmented reality company working with large brands, and we'll continue to do that. And will will this, if, I, if I want to get this, because you know I might, you know, not remember what an apple is. Um, what, what? How much will it cost me? And, and it's free. It's free. Well, how do you make money then? Because I know that this this cannot have been created in yeah. you know, half an hour in a tea break. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, there's of course advertising revenues associated with it. I mean, every image uh, is worth something to somebody. And if people want to promote some content on these objects, uh, there's a whole commercial model being thought out right now. And so as this builds up, you get more and more sort of like crowdsourcing sort of things mm -hmm. in, in the way that, that, that Google had worked. Are you worried about that sort of going wrong and maybe getting ambushed or something? And, and you know, people like, you know, when you play, play tricks on people and say this is a, you know, a jackalope, um, you know, which is... I mean, that is the whole point of us controlling the environment. I mean, yeah. in a way, you cannot do Google search outside of Google or you cannot tweet outside of Twitter. That's the reason we're not white labeling this technology. We're actually controlling this ecosystem. We'll open up the platform, but the only way people can create this content is inside Blipper. They cannot take the technology and create. So hijacking it won't be allowed. Okay. Hijacking won't be allowed. Now, I've got an, um, an Apple phone here, yeah. and you, you have too, it, yeah. it seems. 
is it going to be only on Apple or are you going to be able to put this on Google run Android phones even though they have this massive search engine which you're sort of undercutting no I'm not I mean it's I, he I says, I'm not I'm not I'm not honest no, no, until no, you no, are no, right. no, seriously I'm not it's a very very different behavior one behavior is I want to know about something and I want to know all the choices like a black dress I'll search and I know the entire internet what's talking about the so second behavior which doesn't exist today I want to know more about that black dress or that check shirt you're wearing or that tie it's a subjective search the subject's already in front of me there's no guesswork we completely see this as a new behavior and going mainstream in the next five years okay so uh, when, when was it again this is out mid-april mid-april so that's not very long at all thank you very much always a pleasure thank you. ambrish mitra you can have you can have your lunch now <laughs> thank you i'm simon constable that's it